Hello YouTube, today we're going to talk about the UCO Candle Lantern. Now I had seen these on the uh, internet and a few other hikers had had them and I wanted to see what, it was, what they were like but basically this is a candle lantern made by UCO. This is the protective case you can get for it. Basically you can take it, lift up on it, there's a candle in there that you can light and you have a little hanging candle lantern. And uh, I wanted to see how well these worked and so forth, so I got one. And uh, they're very simple. As you can see, it collapses down. There's a candle in there that's on a spring. And as the candle burns, the spring pushes up and it burns the whole candle. It's really easy to uh, get in there. You just unscrew the bottom and you light it and then put that back on, screw it on, and you're done. Now, one thing, uh, how these work is, you take this off, pull the spring out, and there's a candle, and there's a little lift cap. And basically, you buy these candles, and usually in packs of four. You can also get Centronella candles, and, uh, uh, there's a few other different types. There may be also some aftermarket ones that you can get that are made by other companies that will fit in here, but I'm not sure. I've, I'm just using the uh, the ones that uh, were made for it. It comes with a candle when you buy it, and but you can buy the you know, additional packs of them. Uh, the candle, we first got it, the candle that came with it burned for about nine to twelve hours um, we're not exactly sure the exact but it burned at least nine hours uh, they advertised the candles in the separate boxes as being uh, nine hours though I suspect uh, the candle that comes with it may be a little bit longer so that may have been why we got such a long run time off of it but one thing you need to understand is when you ch change the candle out this will generally be stuck to the bottom. Now, a lot of people, when they first get them, because there's already a candle in there, they don't realize that this little cap, okay, wasn't part of the candle. So they accidentally throw that away. If you don't keep this, this chamber right here doesn't seal properly. Therefore, if any wax gets down the side, it's going to melt into the bottom of this little cat area here. So you always want to make sure that when you're done you take what any excess wax off of this when it when the candle's done and won't burn anymore. Scrape this clean and use it when you replace the candle. In fact you'll notice as you feel on the bottom of this candle there's bumps. And uh, as it gets warm it'll it'll melt into that. But anyway, you basically just slide the candle in put the cap in there take your spring that's the other reason because the spring sits into that cap let me show you see it's exactly the right size to push into that whoops <laughs> but anyway that's uh... that pushes in there so that it sits just so so make sure you don't lose this piece you just put that in there. Put the spring. Boy, that springy. Good. Strong spring. Anyway, put the spring in there. Push that down. Another base there. And then you twist it till it locks. Now something you'll notice is, is that on either side of this, there's this little slit here. So you can see 
where the candle bottom is. And as this melts, this pushes up, and you'll see the bottom of the candle melts up the side, move up the side as the spring pushes everything up. And anyway, you just put that in there once you've lit it, twist that lock, and uh, there you go. Now as far as the candle itself, this part doesn't get hot. What gets hot is this little piece, flat piece right here. Do not touch this flat piece right here. You will burn yourself. Okay. But the rest of it stays cool. When you have this hanging on something, if you get your hand up here, you don't feel any heat coming off of it. It's, 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 it, this acts as a very good block of any radiant heat and it would come out the sides this way. But I, it dissipates quite well, so you don't get heat up here. Now, if you take it and sit it down and you were to stick a little metal pot on right on this flat piece, it'd probably get it pretty hot. Uh, whether it'd be useful for boiling water or not, I don't know. I guess maybe you could push this down and get it closer and get it hotter. But, uh, you know, that's up to you. Um, I had it underneath a sill nylon tarp hanging. It didn't hurt anything. I had it sitting on a plastic table like this. It didn't hurt anything. Didn't get hot on the base. Didn't get hot. You know, picking it up was easy. As long as you didn't touch this top part or touch the glass, you were pretty fine. Anyway, made by UCO, and uh, you can get these in a lot of camping places, uh, Cabela's, Amazon. Um, Probably order it direct from the manufacturer. And uh, when you're done with it, and you got it put out, you just slide that in there. And uh, I bought this as an additional option, so I wouldn't uh, break it. But uh, you just put this down in here. You know, either way you want to go. Some people find it's easier to put it in this direction first. because of the chain but uh put that in there take this in slip it over and that protects your uh, your glass in there from getting broken because that grass that glass is fragile in the in the uh in the you know the one section the globe but uh, it's lightweight and uh, it's very simple and it can make good uh, addition to a back, you know, for car camping or doing some bushcraft camping. It may be a little bit too heavy for ultralight because you probably want to use, uh, you know, like a headlamp or something instead. But, you know, it's, it's, it's practical if you wanted to use it for that. Maybe for lightweight camping, maybe not ultralight. But it's good and reliable and simple and looks well be well made. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please click the like button. If you'd like to see more, click subscribe. You can also click on the bell icon to receive notifications when we upload new videos. If you have questions or suggestions for new videos, please leave a comment down below. You can also consider supporting us on Patreon and or you can join us on our discord server the links will be in the description below